Hello there, we're just going to have a look at how you will produce cupcake designs using the edible artist software that we supply when you purchase pre-cut icing sheets from us. I struggled a bit with that, but let's just get on. There we go. Let's open up edible artist. So what we're going to do, we're going to load up a new design and we're going to select, you've got 30 circles, 15 circles, two or six. doesn't matter what I do for this exercise. Let's use a six. Now, I would say at this point, you need to think through what you're doing. Supposing you only want to use half the sheets, you would select individual. But we're not going to do that for now. I'll come back and show you that in a second. So we've selected, oh hell, let's do the 15 circles. There we go, finish. We've got it. What we would do is we would select a picture from some files on your computer. I've already prepared a couple of files to pop in. And there we go. Um, we all recognize what that is. A simple Darth Vader image. So let's just keep it simple. You've got your image. You can... Let's not. Let's complicate it a bit. Let's create two images. There we go. And then we'll come in again and let's bring Luke in. It's sad that I know the name, doesn't it? And there we go. You can just size them within, can't you? And just make sure they look something like. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Even in life, people are sometimes taller. So we'll just go with that. And there we go. That's our images in. Now, how will we put messages in? Hit the message icon, come over, new message. Okay, your text goes here. You come into the edit box just here. And start typing. Um, Hi, Luke. Wanna fight? Original, I suppose. Now, we can do a couple of things with the text here we can position it we can color it so let's have a look so we go up to the next button uh, we want the solid color let's drop the color down here let's have blue we can adjust the transparency of it just mess about with it but let's just go in there then you'd hit next and now we're looking at the outline again Let's not have an outline. Let's just go solid blue. Again, let's have a look at the transparency of it. There we go. That's pretty cool. Next. This is about whether or not you want a box around it. Let's just put one on it. There we go. Do you want that? No, not really. So you'd hit remove. Okay, next. This is position. Where do you want it? Um, now, we're going to put this as a normal line. So I would just quickly drag that there, drop it there and put it somewhere where you think it's about right. And that's that message there. Now, if we're going to, supposing you want a different message, you wanted something to go on here, you can delete that. Or if you follow these steps, go back, 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 back and go new message. That's that message held here. That will stay there now. You have no access to it. So let's create another message. Hey Daft. If you want to. There we go. So we've got that message. And we're going to go next and again. We'll get, let's get some colours in. Green seems to work, doesn't it? Next. Let's leave the black outline in. And let's go on to the next. We don't want anything around it. Next. Circle above. There we go. And you can mess around with this by the angles. Yeah, turn it like that. Get it where you want to. So you can pretty much do what you want with it. I think that's pretty neat. 
you can pull it down if you wish so we've got that done and that's it all you would do is then go to your preview and as you can see you've got all of your cupcakes to that design now let's very quickly go in again and have a look at an alternate way to do this and that would be there um, and this would be new design this time and we want individuals finished we've selected that and I'm going to fly through this because we've already done it haven't we we're going to go in we're going to get our picture and let's get daft again let's not get clever the point is to show you the functionality not how smart we can be Uh, let's very quickly put a message on just as a reminder new message hi i am daft vader that seems to make sense doesn't it again let's go and remind you the colors green is the color isn't it next so a color here and I can't stress enough, you've got to play around with it and work out the various bits that you like and what you don't like. Um, circle above. Drop it down a tad. And there we go. All done. If we preview that at this point, you see that you've only got one of the cupcakes done on that page. So let's close that. And let's go in now to backgrounds. Now, over here we can clone an image and if you remember we selected the six circle sheet design and what you would do supposing you want that image in three of them you would select your source and then you would come down hit the clone button okay we're done let's have a look at the preview of what we're going to print as you can see you've got three can't stress enough, you guys have got to play around with this and work it out for yourselves, a lot of it. But that gives you a very quick overview. If you need any further help, give us a shout, send us an email and we'll try and do a tutorial for you. I hope that helps. Many thanks.